Today I'm going to tell you 10 project ideas for learning Solidity. If you are new here, I'm Julian and on Eat The Blocks, I help you to become a blockchain developer. So if you want to become a blockchain developer, you have to learn Solidity, the programming language for smart contracts. And the best way to learn Solidity is to build projects. To build these projects, you can use Remix, an online IDE for Solidity. There is no need to install anything. You just need to go to the website of Remix and that's it, you are ready to start coding. But which project should you build? I recommend to build lots of small projects of increasing difficulty. And here are a few ideas. So the first idea is a simple storage smart contract. So a simple storage storage contract is a very simple smart contract where you have an integer variable, you have a function to modify this variable, you have a function to read this variable and that's it. You will learn the basic smart contract syntax, how to declare a variable and how to declare functions. Another idea is to do a message smart contract. So in a message smart contract, you will have a function to register a string message and another function to read these messages. And each message will be associated to the address that created the message. This will allow you to learn mappings, which are an important data structure in Solidity to group data together. The next project ID is a wallet. So in a wallet, you will have a first function to deposit Ether and you will have another function to withdraw Ether, but only the owner of the wallet will be able to execute this function. So with this project, you will learn how to send money to a smart contract, but also how to send money from a smart contract to another address. And you will also learn access control, which is very important in smart contract. This is a pattern that we use all the time. The next project ID is to do a multi-sig wallet. So a multi-sig wallet is a wallet controlled by several people. So you will have a function to deposit Ether and another function to withdraw Ether. But this time, this function is not controlled by only a single address, but by several addresses. So we need the agreement of several addresses before doing a withdrawal. So with this smart contract, you will learn how to deal with signatures, which is a very important part of smart contract development. The next project ID is to do a payment splitter. So this is a smart contract to pay multiple people on chain. A typical use case is if you run a business and you want to pay your employees, but you don't want to do many different transactions. You just want to do one transaction. So you will have a single function where you will provide a list of addresses and also a list of payment amounts. And inside of your code, you need to dispatch the different payments to the different addresses. This is a great way to learn about arrays in Solidity, which is another data structure to group data together. The next project ID is to do a lottery. So this will be a lottery where anybody can participate. You just have to send some money and your address will be registered by the smart contract as a participant. The admin of the contract can call a spatial function to determine the winner of the lottery. Then the winner will be able to call a function to withdraw their winnings. This project will teach you how to generate randomness on chain. The next project ID is rock, paper, scissors. So that's the famous game on chain. So you will have two participants who play against each other. So there will be a first function to register these two participants. And you will need to use the commit reveal scheme, which is a very important pattern for smart contracts. The next project ID is to do an ICO. So an ICO is a mechanism to raise money for a token it's like crowdfunding, but for a token. So you have a period of time where anybody can buy some tokens. So people send money to the contract, but they don't get that token right away. And when the ICO period is over, investors will be able to withdraw the token they bought with another function. The next project ID is to do a prediction market. So prediction market is a betting platform for real life event. 
And you might have heard of Polymarket, the prediction market who accurately predicted the election of Donald Trump for the US election. So Poly market is pretty complex and I don't recommend to try to do exactly the same thing for your project. To keep it simple, I suggest to only cover binary events, meaning events where you have only two potential outcomes. For example, who will win the US election, Donald Trump or Kamala Harris. Once an event has happened in real life, the outcome will be reported to the smart contract by the admin. Then the winners can withdraw their money. And the next project ID is to do an order book. So an order book is an exchange where people can buy and sell some tokens. Traders will be able to place limit orders that will be recorded on chain. Then other traders will be able to place market orders that will be matched against these limit orders. This is exactly what centralized exchanges do, except that we will do it on chain. This is more challenging than the other project ideas I mentioned, but hopefully by that time, if you completed the previous projects, you will be confident enough to tackle this project. So I'm building an entire platform based on this concept, the 30 day Academy. The 30 day Academy is a blockchain Academy where you will learn blockchain by doing coding challenges. Each course has 30 challenges of increasing difficulty, one challenge per day over 30 days. And for each challenge, you will have very specific instructions and the solution. This is a platform for people who learn by doing. I'm launching the platform on Black Friday, November 29th. So for the launch day, the first course is on Solidity. And after that, many other courses will follow. To get your hands on the Black Friday offer, register with the link down below. Okay, that's it for today. Bye.